Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now with the world slowly opening up again, I've had a lot of questions asking how to travel with film. And this has been a sticking point for a lot of film photographers over the years, but unfortunately it is getting a bit more difficult with new scanners in place in a lot of airports around the world. So I thought I'd put together my top five tips for traveling with film. So let's get into it. Number one, take your film with you as hand luggage opposed to putting it in the hold on the plane. And there's a couple of reasons to do this. Number one, any luggage that goes onto the plane as hold luggage goes through much stronger scanners than your hand luggage. And the second reason to do this is it gives you a bit more control when your film is gonna be scanned. And this leads us nicely onto number two, get your film hand inspected. When you get your film hand inspected, all this means is when you're going through security and you're going through the scanners, you are security to have a look at your film separately rather than putting them through the scanners. And the reason for this is the scanners, because they're so powerful, they can cause your film to be fogged. Now, generally it affects films with high sensitivity, so ISO of 800 and above, way more than the lower sensitivities, but with these new scanners in place, it's way better to be safe than sorry and get all your film hand inspected if possible. And this leads us on to number three. A way to make it easier is to get proper packaging for your film. Now this can be a tin, so not only does this protect your film, you can also put stickers on it saying film, please hand inspect. And this is basically about being more organized and making life easier for the security who is gonna be going through your film. Next up, another way to make it even easier for security is take all your film out of the packaging and the wrappers. So you just have your rolls and you put them in the clear Ziploc bags, just like you do with your liquids. And this makes it way easier for them to be hand inspected and more likely for them to be hand inspected because security don't have to do it. They should, but they don't have to. And this leads us on to number five, don't be it. I arrived to the airport earlier than you normally would, so you give yourself more time to have your film inspected and you're not trying to rush security and rush it through and you won't make mistakes with your film. And also, just general etiquette, be kind to the security staff. Sometimes they can be a bit of a job swerve or sometimes they're very reluctant to do hand inspecting, but generally their job is very stressful and high pressured, so it's just best to give them a smile, be as kind as possible and explain why it's so important for your film not to go through the scanner and it always helps to say, you know, you're doing a little project. I still say I'm doing a university project even though I graduated. Um, just so they know the importance of the film not being fogged. And I would say do not put your film in the camera if you can help it. Keep it in the rolls as this can give it a little bit more protection than when it's loaded in your camera. When I went to do the Camino, I took 50 rolls of me of film and I was at security for 45 minutes. So I would say give yourself as much time as possible because you don't want to rush it and obviously film is very close to our hearts. But obviously if you're going into a country to photograph and they sell film there and it's relatively cheap or it's reasonably priced, then I would buy my film there just because it reduces the risk of your film being fucked and it reduces the stress. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips for traveling with film, please comment them down below and I'll see you in the next one.